What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel and check out the content. Um, with that being said, man, I want to uh I, I wanna I wanna speak on the fact that uh like what I said about uh choke no joke, he just made a statement on the show uh it was comedy hype he just made a statement on the show comedy hype and his statement was the fact that uh you know he spoke about uh damon dash losing you know like having to pay uh like what 10 million dollars to uh in back taxes and child support and so you know and and the reason the what he thinks the reason why damon dash is 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 uh you know, is in all this financial trouble, right? And so Damon Dash is going to have to wind up selling like one, his his share of Rockefeller. Right now, that's on hold. I think the, uh, the judge granted, you know, a, a temporary hold on that situation, but eventually he will have to sell it so he can pay off his debts to, uh, like I said, for child support and for, uh, and uh, also taxes that he owe uh, in New York. Uh, but with that being said, I'm a, I'm gonna go and 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 check out the audio, and then I'm going to respond to what choke no joke said. You know, he's is he really a boss? Of course, he's a boss. He's been a boss. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this doesn't take away from when he was CEO of Rockefeller, when he was CEO of Rockaware, when he was CEO of uh, American Magazine, all the, you know, this to me does not define uh, that he's no longer a boss, mm. right? Because we know that if he was to mentor or consult people, he can do that and they could be successful. Only reason Dame is in the position that he's in now is because Jay Z, Steve Stout, Lance Unrivera, well, Lance is the one that told us that they all made a conscious effort effort to blackball down Dame and suppress anything that he does. Why is that? Okay, so let let me comment right there, right? And so I, I said this 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 made the same statement um, a few you know a few days ago in my video that uh you know like damon dash is being blackballed and the reason why he's being blackballed is because certain people in the industry don't like him he's uh you know people see him as arrogant you know and loud uh and, and they don't like him um some people say he even did you know he he did people dirty which that may be true right but you know it's, it's not like uh jay-z and steve stout like they haven't um done people dirty either i'm only just you know i'm just pointing this out because sometimes you know no matter what you do as far as like you know like you need you can't burn bridges when it comes to uh when it comes to doing business and i think um because of the you know dame dash's attitude and and the fact that he's arrogant you know he burned bridges and he rubbed some people the wrong way and now you know you have people who may who are making like a conscious effort to uh to blackball him and 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 like choke no joke said they don't want to see dame like be successful at anything so anything that he tries to do you know um you know they, they're going to try to shoot it down or try to destroy it or bring it down and so um let me let me get back to to uh and to this audio and uh i want to comment on some more of what uh choke no joke has to say yeah because Jay-Z wanted to mm. go on to be this billionaire, which was Dame's dreams. Go back to any of the old interviews that we did in early 2000. Dame is the one that coined the phrase of wanting to be a billionaire. These dudes wasn't talking about billionaire. They were still talking millions. Yeah. See, it, all right, so I want, I want to just comment on that also real quick, right? Um, because of Dame Dash's arrogance and, and the fact that he's outspoken the way he is, you know, I think um, that's what's hurt. That would hurt him too, because sometimes you can't let people know what what your plans are, what you're trying to do. Uh, you know, people get jealous, or or and people be uh, you know, they'll want 
what you say your dreams are. They'll want to see that for themselves. And so, uh, you know, these guys that he was he was telling that he wanted to be a billionaire, they was like, well, you know, I'm in a position I can be a billionaire too, but all I have to do to be a billionaire is to really is to the mo move you out of the way. And, and uh it was easy for people, I guess, to come to that conclusion to, to move Dame Dash out of the way because like I said, Dame Dash is an arrogant guy. He's a guy who rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. And um he made some enemies, you know, and he uh, you know, people don't have any problem with with just you know uh just moving Dame out of the way or just suppressing. You know what I'm that. saying? So only reason Dame is 10 million in debt is because Jay-Z and his cold hearts or whatever sucker niggas you want to call them uh, made a conscious effort to make sure that Dame don't prosper in the business no more. Wow. That's, 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 that's tough though. That's, that's, uh, that's a tough position to be in. Like when your enemies just make a, a effort to uh, make sure that you don't profit in the business, you know that's a tough position to be in. And uh, I don't, I don't get why, you know, like I understand, like you got to be yourself, right? But I, I never understood why, why this guy, Dame Dame Dash, was just so arrogant, and he was just so boisterous about what he is doing. You know, like sometimes you can't. You know, you can't just let your enemy know. You just, you can't let anybody know what you're out there trying to do because people want to put a stop to it. And now you, I think, like, as far as, like, in the entertainment business, I don't think Dame Dash have, really have anything, you know, anything that he really coming, not much of anything. You know, I think because they're, they're standing in his way, it's going to be almost impossible for him to uh, to accomplish anything in the industry. But um, that's my take on it. Um, I think it's a hard lesson learned. You know, I think you just can't go around uh, burning bridges. I think you just have to, uh, you know, you gotta you gotta pick your battles. You know, and, and be uh, be you know you be careful of what people like you rub the wrong way. And um, like I, you know, with that being said, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, uh, don't forget to leave a comment, and I will check you all out on the next video.